Hi guys, it's Alicia here with Korean Crafts 83 and um, I'm doing a video response to Oh Snap Gonzo's challenge. Hang on one second, honey, okay? Do you want to go watch Doc McStuffins? Okay, one second. So, sorry about that. So, um, I'm not in my usual area today because I'm doing laundry. My craft room is in my laundry room and it's pretty loud in there. So, um, I'm just in my living room on my couch. Um, so basically the challenge was to kind of show how our scrapbooking has progressed, um, over time. And I honestly have only been scrapbooking. Mm hmm Thank you. For about a year. And so I don't have too much, um, like, you know, I don't have, like layouts from like years ago obviously but um I did notice that my style has evolved even in that year and um definitely YouTube was a big influence because um I don't you know I don't know anybody else that like scraps personally so um I get a lot of inspiration off YouTube so I'm gonna start with um my first layout. So when I first started, I was really, really, really inspired by um, like my passion for paper and um, like creative Kel Kelly from Cali and um, uh, June cries. I th is it three fifteen or I forget the numbers after her name? But um, live love scrap. My butterfly kisses twelve. I mean, I watched those videos and I really was like. Their things were so beautiful. So, um, these this was like the first thing I really ever like created, um, and I really love it. And um, so <laughs> that's that one. And you know, just lots of flowers. It's really, really dimensional. Um, you know, I don't know if this is like shabby, really, but um, you know, definitely was into that style. And then I had made this one shortly after. Um, for my girls, I haven't even put a picture in there. It's been, watch out, honey. It's been like a year, so um, hopefully I'll get. Olivia, you have to sit back here, okay, honey? I don't go okay, hang on. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I had to get a picture in there, but again, more of like the, you know, the flowers and the stuff like that. And this is actually on a canvas, so I was kind of just getting into like the sprays and. Um, stuff like that um so that was that one and then I discovered like actual 12 by 12 scrapbooking that would go in like an album and I fell in love so <laughs> this is the first um well one of the first layouts that I ever did hang on Olivia um and as you can see I mean I was like very very amateur you know I have some stamping on there with some perfect pearls and which isn't amateur but you know I mean it's just there's not really like um, design elements or anything to this layout it was just like putting stuff and I wanted to like cover as much as I could and it's like really busy and um, like crazy so I mean I still like it I won't change it um, it's in my album because you know it's a journey so that's that one um and then um the next section is kind of when i saw my style evolving and by this time i was really watching um lots of scrapbook process videos so um like glitter girl was a big one for me um mercy tiara i still to this day love her process videos um, Maggie Milo, I love her process videos. Um, Nicole Jones 911. I just really loved watching the process videos and I kind of saw the true art of just actual 12 by 12 scrapbooking and so that's um, mainly what I do now um, is 12 by 12 scrapbooking. So this is kind of when I saw my style evolving and there's more as you can see like white space and um, you know, like the layering and the thickers and the embellishments um, and the washi and the sequins. So I was getting more into, um, you know, this style of scrapbooking. Um, and then here's another one. Again, now I'm getting into like the splatters and, you know, just more um, different types of design layouts, um, you know, that I was experimenting with and different products like the Maggie Holmes frames. And it was just really like a whole new world to me. So I was like really excited. And then here's another one again, just more white space on them and, you know, layering embellishments and things like that. 
And that kind of brings me to um, now, my style now, which um, I've really gotten into, um, like, the last couple months, just really more, like, organic scrapbooking. And I really got that from watching, like, Wilna Furstenberg and... Um, Oh, I can't remember the other girl's name right now. I'm drawing a blank, but she's... Sorry, Olivia. <laughs> sorry. She's also a garden girl, and she does a lot of these, like, really organic um, um, layouts. She has an accent, too. Like, possibly she's from Europe. I just can't remember her name right now, but um, I'm sure you guys know who she is. Hang on, Olivia, okay? Um, I'm sorry. My <laughs> daughter is dying to be by the video, so... Um, so, you know, now I just, I love using stencils and mists and, you know, like that's a little shaker heart pocket behind the picture right here. And, um, you know, I just love doing this like organic kind of just like the splattering and the paint drips and I just love it. And so here's another kind of example of that where, you know, these were just pieces of white cardstock and I took my paint daubers and I daubed everywhere and um you know I I just am really into this um type of scrapbooking now I love it I think it's super fun um I love the late I love layering stuff together and just making it look very casual so that is my um <laughs> my short scrapbooking career and um I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, to Oh Snap Gonzo, I really, really enjoy your videos. I love your What's Up Wednesdays, um, you know, and I think this is a great challenge, so, uh, yeah, you know, just to see how people have evolved, and, you know, um, I do agree. I think YouTube, for me personally, has been the biggest influence because, um, like I said, I don't have anybody else to go by or to learn things from um, or anything like that, so YouTube is definitely my biggest influence and all of you guys are a great influence to me so thank you guys so much uh, I hope everyone's having a great day and I'll talk to you guys soon bye